What is up guys, it is 63Z on a very fucking cold morning here in Adelaide. It's like 4 at the moment. And I didn't even realise this was coming up until this morning. It, it's E3 in like 4 days, if that. Right? So, for this, I'm, I've gone through a fuck ton of lists. I've gone, I've already sorted out everything I'm doing for the live streams and stuff like that. So if you're wondering if I'll be covering it, I will be. I'll be doing a couple different videos. I'll cover each conference itself, maybe besides... Uh, Nintendo because I really don't plan on getting a switch, but I do like knowing what's in Sony and stuff like that Regardless quick little thing go to all my social medias and follow them I'll also be I'm, I've got a lot of time off in the next couple of weeks So I'll be streaming a lot more so make sure to go to my twitch as well so you can watch me live stream I'll be playing um, I need to finish off more Assassin's Creed Syndicate um, the DLC for Shadow of Mordor that I forgot I completely had um as well as I want to be playing more of Dying Light. Uh, I'll also be consistently be playing Overwatch, as well as every now and then I'll be playing Total War Rome. So make sure to watch out for me streaming. Then go there, follow it, whatever. Thank you for going over and checking it out. If you didn't, thank you for at least clicking on the video for watching this. Anyway, I've made a list of all the games that I've seen so far that I'm actually wanting to see about. Um, there's a couple in here that I've known about for a while, and there's a couple of them that are just basically DLC based. Um, but here's the list. It's going to be a very short video, so make sure to watch it all through. And don't forget to go to my Twitch and all the other stuff and follow me around, so thank you. Start off with the E3 conference that I know of, That's that hopefully, hopefully will be in it. it will be Star Wars Battlefront 2, which I'm pretty sure it will be. Uh, Titanfall 2 DLC. They said there's going to be new content for the game, so I'm hoping there's some awesome DLC to come with it, like um, Titanfall 1 did. Also, I'll be playing some Titanfall 2 off the stream as well. Sony, there's a lot in here that I actually can't play, besides one that I actually can, which is the new Call of Duty, which has gotten a whole bunch of stuff done with changes and crap like that, but I, I am keen on playing it, that is for sure. Uh, there's the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, uh, as well as God of War 4 which is the new, obviously, the next for God of War. The Uncharted Lost Legacy, which is like a spin-off DLC for Uncharted. I think it's it's either DLC or it's just a plain old spin-off se sold separately. Um, and then there's also Last of Us 2. That I know will be for the Microsoft one is State of Decay. I'm hoping they release a Halo 6 information, something for Halo 6, because that is a confirmed game to come out. They just don't, we just have no information on it, really. Um, that are coming from Bethesda should be Elder Scrolls Legend as well as Dishonored 2 DLC that they've been saying they're going to put out into content for it and they're going to release a bunch of that information at E3 2017 so I'm hoping that comes out as well uh, Ubisoft will be there's rumoured to be a new Assassin's Creed which is Assassin's Creed Origins which is hopefully going well not hopefully which is rumoured to go back to Egypt and a whole bunch of other stuff if you want to know more information about it just go look it up it's not too bad uh, I know Outside Xbox has done a lot on it, uh, and there's a couple others that I didn't really take note of, the developers and stuff like that, but there's just other crap I'm interested in, which is Middle Earth Shadow of War, which is probably the most looked forward to release at E3 this year. That's going to be my favourite game to look for, and I don't even know what conference it's going to be in. Uh, there's Batman Arkham Insurgency, as some of you may know, I bought the whole uh, Batman series games on Steam and I'll be playing that also for stream later on um, probably more towards the release of that game Total War Warhammer which is a game I've been following for ages and I really want to know more about I want to see more about it and just know what there is coming to it uh, there's rumoured to be Escapists 2 I'm really hoping there is because I really liked watching Escapists 1 on some people that actually played it I never really played it myself, I just like watching people play it. Uh, Escapist 2 is something that I'm quite interested in seeing if they actually do release or what they'll do with it if they do release it. And obviously, this isn't the second one of these, but it's Dead Island 2, because there was obviously Dead Island, and then there was Dead Island Riptide. Dead Island 2 is the third game in the series, and obviously, Dead Island, well not obviously, because some of you may not know this, Dead Island and the people who made Dying Light, they're both the same people. Uh, Dying Light was made after Riptide, and I 
I think that because of the flop the Dying Light had is why they're going back to the Dead Island series, or they're doing it like one one each sort of thing now. I kind of I really want to see how that leads to, which that basically sums up my list. But there, all those games there, um, there's some of them that I'm not entirely sure about if they'll actually be there. But a lot of them are confirmed that they will be there, and some of them I just don't know which con uh, which um, conference they'll be in. I'll be covering each. Uh, conference, except obviously the Nintendo, probably make a best of thing or just a summary video of all the games that I liked, uh, and then at the very end of it, just my total sum up of them all, which means there'll be a fair few videos coming in the next week or so. Uh, this is coming as well as there's, an, uh, there's already been an Overwatch stream highlights uploaded yesterday or the day before, something like that, as well as there'll be one coming out this Sunday as well, and then obviously all the other E3 stuff is going to come out after that. Because I'm in Australia, a lot of these E3 conferences are like during the early, early morning. So, um, I'll probably be streaming between each one, uh, just to keep me awake if I decide to stay up. Uh, some of them are in the after like middle of the afternoon, so it's not too bad for those, but to keep myself awake on some of them, I'll either just be sleeping between conferences or I'll just be live streaming while waiting for the conference to happen, uh, for the ones that are closer together. But that's been the video, I don't want it to be a too long of a video. I want you guys to watch it, have everything I've got to say, make sure to go to my Twitch, subscribe and go to all my other social medias, as well as just get involved in what these games are and see what's coming out. Uh, if you have anything get, that you're excited for, comment them down below, or you can tweet them to me, or you can go to any of the other links and just comment it and just let me know, because I'm quite, those are the ones that I'm mainly excited for. I know I can't play a lot of the Sony ones, four of those motherfuckers I can't play, and I know Last of Us, Uncharted, Crash Bandicoot, and God God of War are all really great games. I played a fuck ton of Crash Bandicoot, which sucks that I can't play it now because I all I have them all on my PlayStation 2 and PlayStation. If you want to see more from me, let me know what you want to see, what games you want me to play, and just all that kind of stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you whoa, in the next video. Here we go. Not all men. One of the most annoying phrases someone can say. Not because the guys. I knew it was Billy. I fucking knew it was Billy. Bullshit, her name was fucking me. It's gonna be a bit more controversial. If you are watching this video.